This is lesson three in the final lesson. So now we know where our daily targets are set. We've watched that video. Now we're moving to the one hour time frame. We can see that the Chiku span broke through the cloud at its point of least resistance. And this is something that you know we've seen many times. We expect this to happen. If there's an opportunity to break through at a thin part of the cloud where there's no resistance, that's what it's going to do. And that corresponded with this little candle touch right here of this flat part of the cloud. And then we're up, up, and away. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at this um, valley here where there's a potential for a bit of a pullback as we get closer to those other targets around 185. But for the one hour traders, um, the one hour is not telling you very much. The 15 minute is showing the Chiku span at getting 15 minute support way back here on March the 8th and then taking off. And the 15 minute tells you that support is going to come around 177 if there's any kind of a drastic pullback. Again, I think Apple is setting us up right now for swing trading. What we see on the five minute time frame is the bounce off the cloud. So we know that traders are looking at the cloud for um, information. We saw this happening um, March 11th. Yesterday at three o'clock in the afternoon, we had a touch right off of the cloud, support on the cloud, and then support on the cloud again. Uh, the one minute is just really just for timing in and out trades, uh, when to enter, when to exit a trade. If you just decided you're going to buy, use the one minute to give you a clue on when to buy. So going back to the daily, uh, we've had this channeling here that we see in Apple. Again, this is an Ichimoku lesson, not so much an Apple lesson, but we do see that there was a channel formed. Let's take our channel drawing tool and uh, Let's bring it out here. This is Motive Wave. And we can see that we were in this channel for, let's call it this generic stock, not Apple so much. But now we've broken out of the uh, channel. And we're going to watch for upward momentum. Apple is a good swing trade here. So that, this is basically telling you um, where to set your targets if you're entering a swing trade for a stock such as Apple or such as a stock that's behaving as Apple is right now.